गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स मैं कल रात आया था सरचू में और एक एक लोकल स्टे है मैंने यहाँ स्टे करा था आज सात बजे मैं सूट उठा एंड मैं बाहर घूम रहा था सो आई वॉज रोमिंग आउटसाइड ऑन द रोड एंड आई मेट अ जेकअप ही इज़ फ्राम यू एस एंड ही इज़ एक्सप्लोरिंग लद्दाख रीजन so we started talking then uh, later on i come to know that he loved the bike riding and off roading which was same to me so i am recording this video to have experience from mr jacob what all he experienced in the ladakh region so when you reach the ladakh um the beginning of september beginning But, of september yeah i i, I want to start the story with when i came to india okay uh so basically at august 12th i came into india from thailand on another motorcycle journey uh but i wanted to come to see northern india okay and uh experience all the mountains before it got too cold um and so i flew into delhi with the intention of buying a motorcycle because i wanted to travel for about six months in india mm -hmm. and i found out it was much more difficult to buy a used motorcycle mm. because you have to buy it from someone where the bike or that foreigners can't own it so i have to basically buy it in someone else's name and they have to uh respect that and not yeah, yeah, yeah. turn it into the police yeah. or anything yeah. he's saying ye keh raha hai ki jab main direct delhi fly karke aaya uske baad bike yahan pe buy karne mein badi difficulties aayi but anyhow he find a friend isko ek friend mila Who helped him him to buy a bike? Then from the Delhi, he stayed one night with uh, that friend only, right? Yeah, I stayed with a friend, and then um, I decided to go to, found a contact in Rishikesh where I could buy a motorcycle through a motor mechanic. Um, but then my passport was stolen, all my bank cards were stolen, my cash oh, to buy the motorcycle was it's stolen. It's very difficult, man. Yeah, and so it took me four days to get it back. I went to the police station, and we started an investigation, and the passport was found in like a gutter on the side of the street. So okay. e either someone knew where it was, or they just happened to find it. I don't really know. But I think way, it was an incident that no nobody wants to stole passport and all this thing because there is no use of passport. Yeah, there was the money in it, so they yeah. they took everything. They took, they took all the everything and threw it off. They threw, threw out the passport, so yeah. it was like seven hundred dollars or so. Because um, I was going to buy the motorcycle. Anyways, I bought the motorcycle in Rishikesh, um, drove it through uh, Uttarakhand to Shimla, and then from there the Spiti loop. I want to explain this in Hindi. Okay, that yeah, you, go ahead. That someone stolen your stuff <laughs> and you were in the difficult situations. Yeah. क्या हुआ ये भाई जब Rishikesh पहुंचा इनका passport और पर सब कुछ खो गया सात सौ डॉलर 700 डॉलर थे उसमें जिसकी भाई को बाइक खरीदनी थी बट दैट वाज गॉन एंड आफ्टर दैट ही कंप्लेन दिस दैट द सिचुएशन इन द पुलिस स्टेशन एंड लेटर ऑन ही फाउंड हिज पासपोर्ट समवेयर फाउंडिंग बिसाइड द रोड करेक्ट ना या बट समवन एल्स हैड फाउंड इट या समवन एल्स फाउंड देन लेटर ऑन ही फाउंड हिज पासपोर्ट चार दिन के बाद इसका पासपोर्ट भाई को मिल गया इट्स ग्रेट एनी हाउ पासपोर्ट इज विद यू मनी डजंट मैटर फॉर अस या ओके कंटिन्यू um so then i started to enter the mountains through the spiti loop so going into shimla and then towards um sengla chitkul and then um kalpa which mm. was the first time i got to see the himalayas um and then the snow capped mountains uh, i think mount kailash yeah kailash, kailash parbat yeah there's um so that was incredible that was the first time i saw that and i traveled through the mountains in the andes in south america which were similar but these valleys are the biggest i've ever seen and it was just breathtaking to drive through right along the cliffs you know yeah, like yeah right along the cliffs high mountains off roading water crossings yeah it was intense and i was happy to find company there i found i found out that it's a very popular motorcycle trip so a lot of other tours are going through or other solo travelers so i met up with two dutch uh, solo travelers and we did the whole speedy loop visiting the different monasteries and one of the highlights is we got to stay at the key monastery where I I talked to some of the monks um and got to eat breakfast with them so that was a very interesting cultural experience and yeah the main highlight was all the off-roading through Pin Valley National Park and um visiting the highest post office sending a letter back to my family and then from Spiti Valley <coughs> I went to Chandratal but my motorcycle fuel pump broke so I had to get a truck to put the motorcycle in and they took me to Manali. Uh, this this happens maximum time the this <coughs> problems happen with the riders that something problems comes our bike then we need to hire a pickups so that we can ship our bike from Chandratal to Manali and it costs very high. How much they how much um, they charge from uh, you? 
1,500. So he was going with an empty truck and just offered to take it. Oh, that's so why. Just, that's why it's 1,500. Yeah. If you if you hire if you hire that truck for you only, that they will charge something something, uh, 8,000, 9,000, 6,000. Yeah, easily. Because we tried last when one of my friend got punctured. We tried, but they ask uh, 8,000. Then we say we can drive like this only and we can buy a new tire and new rim in 8,000. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I was lucky. Also, there was no phone service. It was getting dark, and so I didn't really have any options. There was all the river crossings. The motorcycle was losing power, and I couldn't. I could only go like ten kilometers, fifteen mm -hmm. kilometers an hour. And okay, okay. So I rode in the back of the truck with the motorcycle. It was actually really scary because there was no more room in the front of the truck. So the motorcycle was just going back and forth. I'm trying oh, to hold it up. You, you were standing in the truck and holding your bike. Yeah, there was two straps, but it still wasn't enough to hold the motorcycle from yeah, going yeah, back yeah. and forth. So Two strap is not enough to hold the bike. In the rough or off-roading section, if we loaded our bike in a pickup truck, it's two strap is not enough. Yeah, it was terrible. Um, and then I went to a mechanic. They fixed the, replaced the fuel pump and then cleaned the injectors. And it worked, and I went from Manali to um, Padum in Zanskar Valley uh, in two days, and I got to see some really cool mountains, and that riding and scenery was my favorite. And from there, we saw the Ladakh Festival in okay. Padum, and so I got to see and learn about how the Ladakhi people make yak, yak cheese. Mm -hmm. um, we got to make momos with them. Yak cheese and momos. Yeah. You tried it? Yeah, it was good. What was the taste? Uh, for me, it's normal. I don't know. Have I, you have you been eaten uh, earlier also? Um, no, okay. that was my first time. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was butter. Oh, you thought that it's a butter, but yeah, later yeah. on you come to know that it's a yak meat. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, from there we did a couple homestays, and then went to Lay, and then from Lay, Nuber Valley, and I went up. I, I forgot the valley's name on the right, but it goes to Sar um, Saichen. Okay. And I went all the way up to the base, which I realized I wasn't supposed to go to. Mm -hmm. And then the next day I went to the other side in to the village of Turutuk, mm -hmm. which was a very interesting cultural village because it has um, you know, been previously previously was part of Pakistan and then um, Yeah, previously it was in the uh, it was in Pakistan, but later on it comes in India. there was a story behind that the people of that villages uh, they go work, they go for work or they go for something else, but they at the evening they come to know that they are in Pakistan, they cannot go back to the India. Mm. And I think one of the most interesting things about this village was one, how it's completely different from the other valley, so it seems to be much more Muslim, um, a larger Muslim population, there was a lot more mosques and um, Pakistani people. Mm. But what I found really interesting is that there were what appeared to be like um, uh, Indo-Aryan people, yeah, yeah. like green eyes, blue eyes, very yeah. fair yeah. skinned people, and I haven't seen those people anywhere the in beauty, India before. Beauty of that uh, local places are, yeah. like, those people are very beautiful and fabulous. So a very kind of unique uh, ethnic group and blend of different cultures, and then the town from the road isn't very pretty, but once you go up, uh, up on the hill, you see this kind of maze of um, stone houses and yeah, the streets, yeah, yeah. and that's really interesting to walk through. Um, and then from there I went back to Pengong Lake and actually if you go straight from Nuber Valley to Pengong Lake It's all off-road and there's not a lot of people on it and it's a really fun stretch Yeah, it's so fun as well that. as it's dangerous also if something happen if something mechanical problem happen in bike Then it's dangerous for us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. at that time. We feel where we are. There is no one There is no one to help us. So anyhow, it's a good experience for a rider. We love to do that. Yeah yeah, and then from Pengong Lake, I went to Hanle and Umlingla, and then and now I'm heading back to Manali. Um, and this is where we met. How we meet? So, in Sarchu. How we meet? Yeah, to, we meet in Sarchu. Uh, just at the police check, check station. Uh, <laughs> we met yeah. just by chance. By, um, it's, it's by chance. We can say by luck, by chance. I'm standing over there and I ask him, Hi, how are you? How's your ride? And we started having a conversation. Then now we are sitting here and thanks to you, man, you no. give your your valuable times to me. I love to meet people and ex and love to listen their experience, what all they face, difficulties and what all they enjoyed. I love to listen there. Thank you. Um, 
Yeah, I, I think to summarize it, it's um, I think been interesting going to some of these destinations, like seeing the Himalayas for the first time, going to the highest motorable road in the world. These are all uh, highlight, you know, bucket list items you can check off. But I think for me, the fascinating part of India is just seeing a place that's so different from my culture in the United States. Yeah. And I, I'm also realizing that it takes a lot of time for me to even understand or wrap my head around the different cultural customs, norms, ideology. So just understand how people think it takes time. So over the coming months, I anticipate on learning more and more about Indian culture, Hinduism, Buddhism, yeah, yeah, yeah. The different religions. In India, in India, if you cross one state to another state, you will find different culture, different yeah. religion, and lovely people. Yeah, this is the the challenge with it too, is because every state is just changing. I have to kind of readjust my mindset entirely every time I go to another place. Yeah. Um, one of the things I'm very happy about is that a lot of people do speak English, so I can get some context, but most of the time there are situations where I just have no yeah. idea what's going on. In India, listening. maximum people speaking English. English is <clears throat> common language in India. And, and then another thing that's really interesting for me is every time I see some kind of I don't know, relationship with uh, an animal or a culture or a practice. And I think mm -hmm. it's strange. Like, for example, I will say cows. In in the Western world, we don't have this relationship where cows are holy. There are a lot yeah, of times. But in North region, there is a relationship with cows. They call them mother cows. They pray for, uh, they pray cows. So. Yeah, so it's very different for me to see this, to see cows like on, on a bridge or in the street or in the middle of town, people petting them, yeah. feeding them. <clears throat> I, and I, I have no relationship to that back in the USA, I've never seen that before, but I have to remind myself that India as a country, a culture, and a civilization is so much older than Western civilization. Yeah. So I have to remind myself that a lot of these things I see were here way before Western civilization even existed. So if I question what is the relationship with the cow in U USA, I have to remember, well, what was the first relationship with cows? And I'd have to kind of look at the older civilizations such as uh, India, Indus civilization, etc. So it's, yeah, it really challenges my mind to realize how how old and and, and deep the culture runs in India. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, last, uh, I want to, I want to listen from you. What, what do you want to say a good line for India? In short, for a India. good, a good line? Huh. Something, something good for India. What do you experience the very uh, in your experience that you have seen that this is the best thing I have ever seen only in India? Um, I would say certainly one of the most standout things is the Himalayan mountains. I think um, I've never seen anything like that before and driving a motorcycle through them, mm. through the valleys and uh, the mountain passes is insane. And every time you cross one, the the geographical formations and change that, in each place. Yeah, and, and at, every, at every 10 kilometers the landscape will change different. Different, different, different landscape we are experiencing at every 10 kilometers. Sometimes going up, sometimes yeah. coming down, different kind of river, different kind of mountains. I would say that this is probably one of the most unique things about India is the geography and then also um, the diversity of the flora and fauna, like the plants and animals changes drastically when you change yeah. elevation. Yeah. Uh, so that was really cool to see all that changing through each of the valleys and places that I've been. Okay. Thank you, boss. Yeah. Say bye to me. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, bye. Thank you so much. Yeah.